This is essential protective equipment for NHS workers and it's running out. Those on the front line in the fight against coronavirus now facing the prospect of doing it without proper protection. The government promised an extra 84 tonnes of PPE to be delivered from Turkey yesterday. It didn't happen. It didn't happen today either. With supplies of medical gowns running particularly short, Public Health England advising doctors to make do with alternatives. But senior medics say that's not good enough. Now, for the first time, the guidance has changed based on availability of, of equipment. And there's no evidence to, to say that it offers the same amount of protection as, as previously. And so staff are going in, working on the front line, treating patients and potentially putting their own health at risk, um, if, if not their own lives in, in some situations. Ministers acutely aware these shortages are upsetting not just NHS staff, but the public too. We are working hard to get the PPE our frontline NHS and social care staff need. We're working to resolve the Turkish shipment of PPE as soon as possible. And we are, of course, continuing to pursue every possible option for PPE procurement. Some of the bodies representing medics are deeply concerned. Do you acknowledge that NHS staff are potentially risking their own safety to look after patients? The guidance remains exactly the same. In exceptional circumstances, advice has been produced jointly with the NHS about how to be safe in circumstances where supplies may be at risk. Can you understand why some NHS workers might feel if they go to work and they haven't got the equipment, they just can't stay in that environment? I understand people's anxieties on the front line where they're in a very uncertain situation, but I would stress again that the advice has been put out precisely to give them some information in those kind of circumstances. The NHS pressure immediate, but economic pressure build in too. The economic and, and indeed health damage of this lockdown is so severe that we've got to put everything in place now, all the preparedness we, we need in order to make sure we can ease the lockdown as much as possible while still being responsible about the spread of the disease. The current Prime Minister still recovering at his Chequers country retreat, not officially back at work, but now getting daily briefings. The coming days will be all about managing the health crisis, but the risk of a deepening economic crisis grows the longer the lockdown goes on. All the choices difficult now. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.